Hello everyone, it's a pleasure to welcome you to this introduction of the American Benchmark for Learning Abroad. My name is Kerry Ramirez and I am the Managing Director of StudyMove. Today I'm going to share with you an overview of this very interesting benchmark analysis that we are proposing for learning abroad activities in the US. Today we are going to give you an overview of a very interesting project that we are developing with the aim of creating a data collaboration environment among American universities in the area of learning abroad. I put together a presentation and we should cover all the topics in about 30 minutes. Today we're going to start with giving you some initial background on who we are and why we are so passionate about Benchmark. We're also going to give you an explanation, of course, of what you can expect of the American Benchmark of Learning Abroad and the benefits to participate in this study. As I said before, we'll have some time to answer some questions at the end, and if you're watching the recorded version of the session, feel free to contact me by email on kerry at studymove.com. All right, here we go. We are StudyMove, a consultancy firm that has been operating for more than 10 years, and we have been very passionate about the use of data and analysis just to support strategies in international education. We have been very, very lucky that in the last 10 years, we have been working with universities from all around the world. We have been working with universities in Australia, in Europe, Latin America, New Zealand, and of course, the United States. We are very proud that we offer real solutions to enhance the international strategies of many great universities around the world. And in the area of benchmark, we have been working with several a group of universities from different countries. In Australia, for several years, we assist the development of the Australian University's uh, benchmark. Also, for the last three years, we have been working with all eight New Zealand universities. We have been also working in a very innovative research with a group of nine leading universities in the area of learning abroad. And for five years, we develop a comprehensive benchmark for all the Big Ten universities in the U.S. And the reason why we are proposing a benchmark tool in the United States is because we know that benchmark is a very effective and powerful tool to enhance your strategies. It really brings collaboration across institutions and it really makes the assessment of your policies, procedures and strategies more effectively. Now, Benchmark uh, is something that it has been used for a long, long time. It's not something that is new. In fact, it has been used since the 1960s by different corporations. The idea of the Benchmark analysis is pretty much just to give you a new perspective in the assessment of your strategies. It's a very effective way just to expand your horizons and see what other peer organizations, it could be your competitions or could be a group of institutions that you uh, get along really well, but it really gives you that additional perspective in the assessment of what you are doing in your institutions. It also is a very effective way just to identify best practice among a group but also it's a really good way just to increase collaboration across a group of institutions. So we know that in the U.S., and this is something that we receive a lot of feedback from other institutions, we know in the U.S. you already have access to studies like these ones. Things like open doors are a very effective way just to know where, what's your position across the sector. But what we are trying to do here is just to go beyond this. We are really trying to complement the studies like Open Doors with this new analysis. And what we are trying to do here is, first of all, go through some of the data gaps that we already identify and expand the analysis of benchmark in learning abroad. For instance, uh, we know that in Open Doors you get a lot of information, but we also know that there is some gaps in the non-credit activities. 
that's something that we really want to tackle and we really want to incorporate effective uh, comparison for non-credit activities. We also want to include things like diversity abroad. There are a lot of information that it could be incorporated and it could make you more effective in the use of the strategies for diversity purposes. We're also looking into the resources that your university uh, is using just for program management and also things like the institutional funding or the ways in which institutions are actually funding and supporting learning abroad participation. So as you can see, it is a little bit more of a more comprehensive view and includes different elements that you may not see in Open Doors or other different benchmarks. Now, what is very exciting for us is that this time we are looking to change the tool. We are looking for an analysis and a tool that really gives you real data collaboration. We really want to give you hard data that will give you meaningful conversations that will enhance your processes and the protocols that you are putting in place. And we really want to give you the information that allows you to identify best practice. Now, some of the experience that we have is showing us that probably an static report, it will not give you that. So that's why I'm going to explain to you in a few minutes how we're going to try to change this just to make the metrics more comparable under a more dynamic system. So basically the question is like, yep, all this sounds great, but how are you planning to do this? So let me just tell you that first of all, we are thinking that it's very important just to work with a small group of universities. We are looking for universities that have already similar structures, similar sizes and commitments with learning abroad. This is very important just to create a group that first of all is similar in the structural views that we are trying to put together but also uh, it really gives you an initial step on how comparable are the things that we are putting all together. Now, a very important aspect of this is that we're also seeking for universities that are willing to give us online data. Our experience shows that the online data aspect in learning abroad is a great and powerful way to learn from each other. It's really an effective way to identify the best practice among the group and also is very useful. So you actually compare to the institutions that are very similar to you in that particular metric. So let me give you an example of this. Uh, for instance, let's think that you are talking to the engineer faculty and you are really thinking about increasing the number of learning abroad students in engineer programs in your university. So with this benchmark analysis and under the online version of it, it will be a lot easier for you just to identify, first of all, what's your position across the group, but also who's doing what in that particular aspect of the metric that you are trying to look, in this case, learning about the students in engineer programs. What is very exciting for us is that we are not gonna give you only the position that you have in that particular metrics, but we're gonna give you the opportunity to drill down and learn more about that particular metric. So in this example that you can see on your screen, we're thinking about giving you not only what's the position of each institution or for engineer programs, but also you're going to be able to learn if institutions are actually having a ratio of credit or non-credit for engineer, if it's short programs, which destinations are this group of students reaching. So a very comprehensive analysis for that particular metrics. So as you can see, uh, we are going to give you the comparative analysis, but also the opportunity just to drill down and to find the metrics that are relevant for your day-to-day -day operations or for your overall strategy. So I will explain in a second how we're going to do this together. But uh, it's important for me just to highlight that something that we are looking as a result of this new benchmark is that, as I said, we really wanna try just to cover those data gaps that we identify. We really wanna give you a, an extensive a set of topics uh, that will be incorporating the benchmark, but also we're gonna give institutions a more effective data discovery uh, a tool. And we're gonna give you the opportunity to really compare effectively across institutions, and we're also gonna work in to minimize the workload in the data collection. So let me explain you how we're gonna do this. 
In terms of giving you extensive topics, uh, we identified that we can actually cover some of these data gaps covering these four uh, particular topics. First, we're gonna concentrate in the area of student demographics, but we're all gonna look for information in the non-credit area. And we're also gonna try and just to collect information not only for US citizens, but also for international students. All of them are part of your learning abroad strategy, so it's important that we can count all of them. We're also going to uh, talk about, or including the benchmark, information on the access to learning abroad. This is information that is relevant in terms of your diversity strategy. But also, we're going to just try to match the information that you've given us just to have the right ratio of participation across your institution. In terms of program management, as I said before, this is a very interesting piece and we know that it could be challenging, but it's important just to have some sense on the resources that universities are investing just to execute the learning abroad strategy. So we're gonna incorporate different uh, metrics and items that will assist you in compare where you are in the terms of program management. And finally, another one that we know is very, very important and it's very, very hard sometimes just to achieve the right goal, but it's important just to start moving forward a right benchmark is in the area of the funding and support to promote learning abroad participation. So those are the main topics that we will cover, but we will put all the data that is collected in a more effective uh, channel. And this is where we're trying just to give you that data discovery exercise for you and your team. So what we're gonna try to do this, and before I really show you uh, the, the aspect of the tool, uh, I think it's important just to talk about the data collection. We received some feedback, and I think it's fair to say that universities invest a lot of time and a lot of resources in collecting the data for this type of exercise. And I know that sometimes it's frustrating that you actually receive a lot of requests from the sectors in terms of the data that is collected. So we are gonna try to minimize this and we're gonna try to basically do the work for you. So for this particular exercise, we're gonna take a lot of information directly from iPads and we, are, as a consultant, we're gonna actually pull that data for you. But we're also gonna ask information, not on their questionnaire on a survey format, but a lot of the information is gonna be under a table form. We think that in this way, we can actually work with institutions just to collect the raw data. And of course, uh, we don't need information like uh, it covers any personal information about the students. We don't need the general characteristics of your student cohort. And with that information, we're gonna crunch the numbers for you. Then we are gonna give you the numbers, the final numbers for your final approval. And we believe that this is gonna reduce in an important way, the workload that exists with the data collection. Of course, we'll be able just to assist institution in how to put together this table format. And if, if necessary, sometimes we already have done that with other different research uh, that we have been doing. But if you need to send us three, four, five different Excel formats because they come from different faculties, we'll be willing just to assist you just to put everything together for you. And of course, uh, we will use well, iPads, we'll use a table format, and of course, we still need to have a few questions that are important just to complement and to have a better understanding of your strategy. But there will be minimal amount of questions for this particular instrument in this benchmark. Now, the other thing that I think is very exciting for us is this idea of giving you the effective comparability and the data discovery. We think that it's very important that institutions have the opportunity just to go through the data and really find the metrics that are relevant for you. So something that we're gonna do this year is that we're gonna develop a Tableau portal with all the relevant information and with filters that will assist you to compare your results more effectively. Let's think for instance, in an institution that has a great focus in a strategy for credit numbers. So basically it's an institution that is not interested in non-credit activities. Well, now with this system, you're gonna be able just to filter all the information only for the credit programs. And you're gonna be able just to benchmark and to identify the metrics that are relevant for you, but only for those areas that are relevant. 
The same could happen for institutions who are interested only on the undergraduate side of things. You are not interested in the graduate things. So with this more dynamic way, we think that it's going to be very useful for you just to have that data discovery journey. But more importantly, you're going to be able just to compare what is relevant for you. So we're still going to be able to give universities uh, the dynamic uh, data visualization portal with Tableau, but we still think it's important that at the end of the day, we create a consolidated benchmark report. So we will provide the results in two different formats. We will give you a comprehensive report that will include all the overall trends, commentary and analysis regarding the general results that we have seen in that particular year across all the participating universities. But as I explained before, you also will have access to the Tableau portal that will allow you just to go further in your data discovery journey and will allow you just to compare the metrics that are relevant for you using the filters that are relevant for you. So we are very excited about this. I think that it's a very important change what we are doing for this year. I think that the fact that we can actually bring together institutions from all around the United States that are similar and comparable is gonna really enrich the analysis and it's really gonna give everybody the opportunity to learn from each other. One of the things that we identify as a result of the use of data is that this really strengthens collaboration across institutions. Because now that you identify who is your partner in that particular metric, you, we are gonna be able just to learn more about that particular institution that is meaningful for you. So we're gonna start working on the benchmark very soon. We're still uh, open for expressions of interest. Uh, we're very grateful that we have heard from already uh, a good number of institutions saying, yep, we are very, very interested in doing this. Some others are still just waiting just to get more information. So we're still open for expression of interest at this stage. So we invite you just to participate and consider this proposal. Our idea is just to start this project in November this year. We'll give enough time to institutions just to collect the data and we'll then support them through all the process. If you have any questions, please let me know. Please contact me. You can contact me under the email carry at studymove. We can arrange online meetings one-on-one -on -one, or we can actually give you more information. We're very excited and we're hoping to see you being part of this very, very interesting project. So that's all for today. If you have any more requests or information that you require, please feel free to contact us. Thank you so much for your time and see you soon. See ya, bye.